Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the Enclave. Or actually, no, we're not the Enclave anymore. We are the new American state. Really, really great name. So we're no longer known as the Enclave, but that's A-OK -okay with me. So right now, we're going to continue beating the crap out of Volpus's Legion, as well as get ready to invade other small nations. And that'll be... A lot of fun, and I just wrote down New American State to remind myself as to what to title the last video. As a reminder, I cannot take, honestly, really any feedback, unfortunately, just because of the way that this mod has worked out for me, or these mods in general, just because, like I've said before, <sighs> this game just doesn't save for me anymore, or this particular game save I'm using won't save, so my computer's left on at all times. Luckily, my computer is very powerful because I spent a lot of money on it that it does basically nothing. It's totally fine if I do it like this. But anyways, um, I'm just taking a quick look to see who else we can attack because we have to defend two sides at a time, which wouldn't be very much fun if we attacked anyone else. Mojave, Ripe, Rolt, Territory, Camelo, Tarwalkers. Ah, the Tarwalkers. Oh, but they're in, the, they're in the Mormon Alliance. Yeah, so I don't want to attack the Tarwalkers. That'd be a bad idea. Dam Busters? Yeah, let's do the Dam Busters. Oh, we already have the Dam Busters, though, don't we? Yeah, we already have the Dam Busters. Yun Yuinta. Painted Men. Oh, you know, let's do that. Let's do a couple of these. And we can do one more event that I didn't do last time. Oh, we already have a lot of Army XP, so we don't need to hold Military Theater Committees. Oh, my goodness. Again with this stuff? Come on, guys. I wish it would just kind of, like, auto-complete for you when you did this to a degree. Or, like, tell you how many you've already done or something. I think that'd be really cool if we had that. Ooh, Seattle Outskirts. Already installed a police force. Anything over here? Cool. Just, we already have 60,000 manpower. That's really great. But let's go ahead and do this. Dredging Portland's Harbor. So, the Pirates of the Mall. With the destruction of the Mall, we needed to decide what to do with the Pirates who made it home. We could scatter them through the waste, but... Some of the pirates claim they were engaging in aggressive commerce given the lack of protection for shipping in the region. Imprison their leadership and scatter them throughout the waste or their experience will be useful against the broken coast. I lose stability, I get a double bonus for naval doctrine, which means nothing, and I get two naval doc dockyards. Uh, basically, I lose stability and get two, two naval dockyards, or I get two naval dockyards. We're going to scatter them. Or just, you know, put them on crosses, but we're not Khazar's Legion. We don't crucify people here, we just execute them, or hang them. Which is almost the same thing. Regardless, regardless. Uh, we're just having a good time in, with Volpus's Legion. They can't really do anything. How close are they to capitulating? Because they're also at war with the Painted Man, which I'll give them some territory from Volpus's Legion, but let's just be real here. They're all going to be in the ground when I'm done with them. Cool. Can I go to... Uh, Bellingham has a lot of different areas as well. Oh, that's right. I wanted to send you guys to the Dam Busters. There you go, Hoover Dam. Do that. Obviously, this is way too many divisions for me to put in one area, but whatever. Uh, actually... Um... Let's come down here. Do that. Oh, and 62,500 manpower. Love it. Definitely need more political power. So, anyways, guys. I do have some coffee here. Buy Starbucks. Slightly watered down. The ice has melted a little bit. But I hope you guys are all having a great, great day. Let's go ahead and roll out some more technology to scavengers for a little bit more research speed. Because we don't have five research slots. We only have four, which really does kind of suck. But whatever. Things are things. Things happen. Ah, very nice. Uh, anything over here? No. Oh, Brotherhood Soldiers. So we got a thousand more manpower. We get a little, bit, a little bit less recruitable population. But we can produce power armor slightly faster. Oh, I forgot to break the tribe. Well, I mean, I guess I could do that, but that really doesn't matter. The greatest power in the wastes. But I think I'll negotiate a group rate first. Just Actually, I won't do that first, because I want to spend some of my army XP. Let's go ahead and do National Guard for more mobilization speed, recruitable population, and defensive war penalty st stability modifier, which I don't think we're really going to be on the defense too much anymore regarding this war, so... I think we'll be okay, but it's still nice to do anyways. Um, guys, please, please move. This isn't a charity. We have other nations to reunite the states with that we need to go to war with. 
Very soon. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Ah, uh, there we go. Maybe just need to reorganize everything here. Uh, I hope Bulbous's Legion does capitulate soon, because this is looking pretty nasty. Like, this is looking very nasty. Yeah, do that. That'd be good. Just take all this stuff. Nice and nasty. That's how we like it. Um... This is where the painted men. Definitely don't need to c come over here. Nice. So you, you, all of you guys. There you go. Oh, we actually have a naval battle. We lost two destroyers in exchange for three convoys. Vulpus's legion sent two, quite a few ships this way, huh? Well, it's a good thing I make sure that... Oh, they actually are split off. That's why, probably. Direct ground support. Let's go ahead and do... I always do air superiority, air superiority mission efficiency. Just because it's a little bit easier. That's looking better and better. Nice. Uh, just finish this off. This looks like cancer. That'd be good. Find another power grid. Great. Give me those boys. Any other boys? Oh, I'm sure we got boys somewhere else. Awesome. Prineville, Redmond, Portland. Oh, that's where Portland, Oregon is. I never knew where Portland is. I thought it was on the coast. Huh. I never knew that. You learn something new every day, guys. Camp Sherman. Obviously, we're going to have to build even more of these things up, but that's okay with me. The more manpower for us, the better. But even though we actually probably will need more electricity to do all this stuff. Siren's Watch, the Olden's Watch, whatever you call it. All this has to be cord as well. Oh, uh, New Hammond. That's I don't own that territory yet. So even though we built it, doesn't mean you have to cord immediately because we won't have enough supplies for all this stuff. Oh my goodness, it's a little laggy when you're doing this and processing other videos at the same time. So yeah, hopefully the next time, the next campaign, this won't happen, where I have to make a lot of videos in a row. I mean, I. Was, Still going to try to play Old World Blues, but maybe without the Enclave's Reborn mod, this might go a little bit more smoothly. Maybe? I don't know. This looks like Cancer, but the Painted Men are doing well, so I'll definitely give them some territory when we're done here. And then take them out, of course. Always, never forget, you must take them out. Cool, you guys are doing a great job. They've got to be close. 93% of the way there. Landing canoes, good, 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 good. Let's do that next. Another power grid. Awesome. My infantry should be already down by the damn busters. So we could probably take them out. Or at least set this up so that... Oh, oh, they're not over there yet, huh? I thought they would be over there by now, but nope, they're still moving. That's okay. Take, take your time, guys. Take your time. And I'm definitely going to have to do this. Cover all the coastal regions... There's a lot of coasts. We gotta go over. And there we go. Nice. So let's go ahead and give me everything. I'm gonna take all the Shoshone Nation. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for your contributions. Volpus's Legion. I will give some to the Painted Men because I don't want them to go to war with me. And honestly... Uh... Mm, can... Oh, can they not take some of this territory? Uh... They, I can't give anything to the Painted Men. Well, it looks like I'm going to do it all naturally. I will give them territory, because I don't think it's fair for me to just take everything. So, thank you very much. Take a sip of coffee. Now, as much as I love this territory, i got to be at least a little bit fair. Awesome. Go ahead and pause it real quick, and I will give... This... This... Because I don't want them to justify on me anytime soon. This, good God, there's so many small states here. Small provinces, I should say. Um, that doesn't look too bad. We'll give them some of this, I guess, as well. And mark, and mark. Cool, that looks pretty good. They double more than double their country size, so I don't feel bad about that. Cool. So now we got some extra 
guys we can play with here. I want to take up the Navajo Nation as well. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Let's take out the Tohono first. I think that'd be fun to do. Take out the Tohono. Take you guys. And you'll kind of line up around here. I want to take out everyone in our back pocket first. And then we'll go to war with them. So that includes the Dam Busters. Who we're still moving soldiers around to. Tohono. And then we'll go to war with the Shi. Because that... The Shi... As much as I don't consider them a super major power. Right now, they're... Looking pretty strong. Holy freaking crap. That's a lot of soldiers. I mean, obviously, they use a lot of their manpower. They're on all adults serve, but... Oh, my goodness. Let's go and go to war with these guys. See what happens. They decided to attack us. I thought they wouldn't. But attacking with 34 divisions at one time is quite a few guys. Especially if those enemies don't really have air superiority, which we do. And they can't pierce me, which is... Lovely. Time for some more coffee. I love it. Uh, actually, we don't have a war justification for Tohono, do we? There it is. Five days. Love it. We remember America. In his darkest hour before his election, Granite asked, Is there anything left? Anything that still carries America's voice? The president's decision to save Flagstaff demonstrated his faith that the answer was yes. No ICBMs here. America didn't need nukes. It needed the slaves who deserted in the dark of the night. We have finished the National Guard. The followers who spread their teachings in the lands of the Midwest Brotherhood. And the Minutemen who held the line against the Institute. Which, unfortunately, could not hold the line. Granite was a flawed man. He made many, many mistakes. But he turned the enclave into a bridge between the old and new world. He brought the reunited states together and formed Middle Earth. Thanks to him, there would be men and women who, floor, who wore its flag proudly at Hoover Dam, at the Second Alamo, and even in the capital wasteland. Men and women who walked out of and into a history deeper than they knew. The men and women of America. God bless the god dang enclave. Forever and ever. Cool. We get a double bonus for electronics in that next focus, but that doesn't even matter since you know, we don't really use electronics. Or we're done researching things. But good god, what is this war even like? A thousand lost, 94. Beautiful. America. Alright, next up. Double those gunships. Give them on that infantry. Give me those, ooh, fighters. Heck yeah, boy. And there you go. Split you up. Split all y'all up. Give me one to come to here. Give me another one to come to here. Give me another one to come here. Another one right there. That's nice. You guys are pretty much all settled in. Uh, let's see if they will attack us. Let's go ahead and go to war with them. And they're going to attack us immediately. Can they pierce me? No, they cannot. Oh, I love America. And actually, can we attack up north? Let's attack with our power armor first. Oh, yeah. These guys will be easy. And get the infantry in behind them. You guys, we got enough manpower and supplies behind us that this won't be a problem. God, I love coffee. Well, I don't I don't think I love coffee, but I really enjoy it. You can love things without really... You can enjoy things without really loving them. Uh, let's do uh, the, Hanf the Hanford Atomic Reactor. Mr. President, the engineers at the Hanford Reactor site have reported ghoul squatters who refuse to leave. The schools claim they've maintained those plants since the end of the Great War, or since the beginning of the Great War, actually, and demand compensation for repairing the facility. We could force them out, but they could damage a plant on the way out, and the resistance to radiation may be useful. Um, give them plasma grenades, which sounds, which sounds like fun. We lose some manpower, but let me tell you about our indentured servitude program. Yeah, we did do that earlier. So actually, we get more resources. We don't have to give them plasma grenades. We don't want to lose manpower, but we actually double what resources we would get. Beautiful. We have a crap ton of metal. Holy crap. Awesome. These guys, they never even stood a chance. 13 divisions. Just execute them if they don't want to be with us. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. There's going to be a lot of divisions down here. And actually, I should not have canceled me building up forts because I'm really going to need them. Because these enemies will be able to pierce my armor. Whether I like it or not, they will still be able to pierce me. And it's going to take one heck of a war against these guys to actually win against them. Go ahead and keep building all... Oh, we actually built a lot of stuff here. But do this since it isn't really mandatory right now to core stuff since we have enough manpower at the current moment so oh this is not gonna hold either we need one army 
Two army, three army over here. Four, five. I have three. So really we need one big one and a few other ones of the coastal provinces. If that's the case, end of the Legion guerrillas with the Legion's collapsed guerrilla raids on American forces come to an end onto Chicago. Oh, wait, Legion guerrillas. Okay, well, whatever. And before I move on, before I do other decisions, Iron Alliance, Yampa, Great Khan's Painted Man, Navajo. Ooh, we wanted to do, do the Navajo Nation. I think the she really needs a whooping. But we can go to war with them at any time. So here's the deal. They can pierce me. I already know that they can pierce me. So we need to build up our areas down here fairly effectively. So, just in case, I'm going to build some stuff back here as well. Definitely build some of this. Build some of this. We're going to need some extra stuff here. That's good. We have that over here. Good, good, good. Radar. Build some up here just in case. Alright, you guys are doing fine. You still can't really push in. They still want to attack us like crazy over here. These stupid damn buses. They're out of manpower, which is great. So I'm actually going to reform our lines. I'm going to tell you to come off. I'm going to use... Combine the infantry under one general at a time. But the these guys right now... They will guard... The waterways. I'll use my power armor to guard the waterways. Give me four on each one of these areas. We can speed time up just for a little bit right now, just because, um, well, it will hopefully wear down more of the Dam Buster's strength. Four divisions should be good enough. Should be good enough to hold. Especially if you have outposts and bunkers. And we obviously have these stupid little islands to take care of. We gotta make sure we got major air superior already up north. Give me two more guys over here. Give me one more guy up here as well. That'll be good. You guys, go ahead and settle over here. More infantry. Oh yeah, I still have you guys in the north. If we're gonna deploy, deploy down here. So that's where I really need you. That'll be great. Cool. Ah, uh, coffee. We're slowly winning still. It, this just takes a little bit of time to do. What if we attacked? Let's go ahead and finish these guys off quickly. Awesome. And that was pretty easy. Damn busters are, is ours. Colonel Stevens, put you under him now. Colonel Stevens, you're being replaced and put over there. I really hope that this four divisions will be enough because they have a lot of divisions. It's an insane amount. Six divisions over here is good. Four should be good over here. Just in case, though, I'm going to build up some forts here as well. So we can fall back onto another fort line if needed. Because over here, we honestly might need all of our infantry to hold the line. And I'm going to need a lot of planes. Holy crap. I don't know if the enemy's going to use a lot of air superiority. So let's do this. I want the infantry to mostly attack because there's no point in using my... Um, power armor, because they can just pierce my power armor very, very easily. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, research the next thing. Advanced energy weaponry for more piercing. That's alright. Get more defense, because this is going to be one heck of a defensive war for us. Even though we're going to war with them by declaring war on them. Uh, nuclear salvage fighters. I'm not too concerned about fighters as much as just gunships. Howitzers are great. Just give me a crap tonight, these guys. And... Nice. We have plenty enough resources for everybody. I guess we can do some transports if we need to. Great stuff. Great stuff. Let time go on. We got over 700 factories. We should be okay. Should be. Mm. But Navy ships. Don't forget the Navy. Don't ever forget about that Navy there. Take those guys off. Take these guys off as well. Tell everyone to immediately repair at home. And then we'll do some convoy raiding. See, they're holding position, detached, moving to repair. We'll do this area, because this is the main area where the Shi have their forces. Do the 
inner rivers do this area as well so we have three areas covered even though we have four task forces but I lied because we actually have way more ships hallelujah uh, Department of Homeland Security let's get another admiral why am I getting another admiral I don't really need another admiral because I'm splitting them off anyways let's go ahead and form a new task force with one two pretty good throw you up here do that do that good stuff 23 um, split you in half and create a new task force immediately pretty awesome yep do that uh, actually everyone is doing this I don't mind them splitting up for this mechanized training awesome and let's get more organization so I hope these guys will be actually strong enough to hold on to the area up here, National Focus, Institute of Emergency Draft, even more recruitable population. And it looks like we have a little bit of political power, so we will go with the reservation, the Trolls of the Warren. The Troll Warren has given rise to an odd conundrum. Although, obviously, we'll execute the war criminals, a super mutant who used to live in Vault 6, Betty has claimed that she and many of the super mutants are victims, actually, of circumstance and treated humans under the rule no worse than neighboring tribes would have. But Betty, based on her Vault education, has invoked constitutional claims on behalf of her and other super mutants and demands a place in the United States. And, of course, a captive population, population of super mutants could have economic applications. Lose manpower and stuff. Get more arms faction. Ooh, ooh collar. Alright, cool. I like collars. But I prefer collars on other people than me. Awesome. Six divisions over a river should be able to hold. Yes, we will get pierced. But using all these extra forts and stuff like this, we should be okay. Are we still mobilizing more men? No. But that's okay. Got a lot of electricity. Because we got a lot of things to build. Cool. Very nice. Very good. Let time go on a little bit more because I want to build up all those defenses. I hope to God the infantry can hold out. The infantry should be able to do okay though. Alright. Attacking for the enemies to attack over the river. That's not going to be very good for them. Which means that should be good for us to help hold the line we should be able to it's not like my power armor is really weak they are only 20 combat width but like i said they can get pierced which i don't really like so um anywhere else we need to put this yuma um yeah looks pretty good uh, and actually san gabriel yeah they have a crap ton of divisions oh go ahead Increase this by a bunch. Focus on these guys, 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 quite a bit, because we really are lacking quite a bit of divisions compared to them. Oh, more power armor. That's actually pretty good for us. I'm gonna throw you six. Yeah, over here. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really good. The she, they're just a little intimidating. Not gonna lie. And I will plop these my soldiers out if I can as soon as possible. LA, just... Yeah. How many ships does a she have? Because they don't have a lot of this. They've stopped making more divisions. They have no ships, huh? I thought they would have more ships. But they do have about 700 convoys. A couple planes. As long as we have air superiority, I think we should be okay. Should be. Should be is a good word to say. Should. Uh, do we need any more defenses around here? We have a couple more divisions to throw on here. That's good. Uh, maybe throw one over here just in case. Maybe do it around LA perhaps. Maybe around here because we might get it. Okay, 7 out of 6 is good. Ooh, another power armor division. Nice. They'll throw them down here, which is actually a pretty smart thing to do. And... Am I making an air base? Institute an emergency draft, more population, and army reserves, more even more population, defense, division defense on core territory, which will actually come in handy, as we will be defending very harshly, or very heartily. Oh, there it is. It's hard, just hard to see in the ruins of everything else. Cool. Greatness awaits. I'm not sponsored by PlayStation, but that'd be really cool. Uh, awesome. The ancient forest annexed by the Enclave. Good. 
Alright, we're wrapping this up quite nicely. The Enclave, Capital Enclave is looking good. The Capital Brother is looking not too bad. The Institute is a little large. Vault 81 is pretty large. Um, the USSR hasn't expanded very much. Not much has really happened on the East Coast. A little disappointing, but whatever. Um, yeah. Not bad, though. Tasty. Gotta love coffee. All right, we should be very close to go to war. We're on our last thing for uh, forts up here. Before we go on, this is what our division looks like. We got a crap ton of defense, lots of soft attack. Piercing is insanely good. Recon is really good as well. Our power armor, not as impressive, but it's power armor, so it's already impressive enough. So, organizations at 73. Our regular infantry is actually has 20 less organization than everyone else. So, whatever. Air superiority or air support mission stuff. Good. We shouldn't get pierced up here. But in case we do, I'm prepared to throw divisions wherever I need to throw them. So, five divisions should be able to hold out, especially with all these forts. But anyways, the show must go on. Let's see what happens when we go to war with the Shi. God dang Chinese. They're going to try to murder us all. Alright, so they begin an attack down here over the coasts. And over to San Rafael. But they cannot do very much against us. They can... Some of those divisions can pierce us. Not all of them. Because I know I did tap over at one point and saw them just piercing a lot of the Western Brotherhood's division. So that's why I was really worried about this. And... Excuse me. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. They just really like this one tile first. Can they pierce me? No, they can't. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at air superiority. Not as much air superiority or, I guess I should say, close air support damage as I would have liked. There we go. Now I like that number. That's a good number. 12. I prefer 20 or even 30, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So casualties, they've already lost over 3,000. I've lost 52. I love it. Uh, they only like t attacking this one tile on the border here. Kind of interesting. I guess I didn't need to make all these extra divisions, but actually having this extra army and stuff will help us out as we are attacking other smaller nations across the west, As and then we will move across the midwest to attack other nations. Mm. Coffee is great. Love coffee. Oh, and there's some ships all the way out here. Okay, then. Well, regardless, we have gone to war with the Shi. I think I need to end out early just so I can get to the next episode as well. So I can actually record it in time. But we'll reform general staff and we'll end it here, guys. Well, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. We finally finished off Kaiser's Legion and all the subsets. We've gone to war with the Shi. We've taken out the damn busters. And we are slowly, slowly destroying the other enemy nations around us. And in the next episode, we're going to continue doing the same thing and maybe even begin a war with the Mormon Alliance. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we are trying to wrap up the West coast. Thanks for watching.